This map made using radar shows the time frame before the eruption until December 2nd. The instruments that we have out there on the ground are so sensitive that they can actually detect changes on the order of a millimeter or even smaller. Colored fringes denote areas of ground deformation, with more fringes indicating more deformation. Each color cycle represents 0.6 inches of ground motion towards or away from the satellite that is tracking the ground. And so you can think about it like this. The summit's surface is almost like your chest and your lungs taking deep breaths, inflating and deflating. It's almost like the earth is breathing. And that tie-dye pattern, basically where you see lots and lots of fringes, that's where the ground has moved the most. And what we see in those images is that the overall volcano is deflating as magma is leaving the magma reservoir beneath the summit to feed the eruption. But the area around where the erupted fissures are, both early on the 28th and uh, late on the 27th, and also up through the present, show a bit of uplift and spreading. That's as magma was injected uh, at shallow levels to feed those fissures. And get this, the complex patterns indicate an overall deflation of the summit area of more than 20 inches. The same measurement is also true for uplift and spreading. And this morning, there was an earthquake swarm, which is a sign that that magma beneath the surface is still active. The number of earthquakes uh, beneath the summit, and basically what this indicates is that magma continues to come up into the system from the magma chamber um, and is being transported down to Fisher 3, where it's erupting on the surface. Don't forget, we have a gallery of hundreds of photos submitted to our digital platforms right now. It's up on hawaiinewsnow.com and our HNN News app. I'm Jonathan Jared Sapi reporting.